So this is a guard cell. The, I feel that I'm called to be able to sacrifice. And that's one of the things about being a teacher. Can it be a job? Absolutely. Can it be just a job that I have a list of tasks and just crank through it? Absolutely. But that's not what we're called to do as teachers. You're called to sacrifice, you're called to care, you're called to love. Ever since 1998, I got hooked in loving, being able to equip people, prepare people, and teaching. Okay. And that's, that's so cool. In a classroom, I was like, wow, it's not just one touch point where I can minister to them in some senses, but I have 16 weeks to address their needs, to get to know them, and to essentially set them up for a uh, future rather than just solve one issue that they have. Most of our courses, service course to the nursing d department. What can I do that would benefit my students? So that's when I chose to become a nurse. What better thing to do to get perspective than to become what our students are aiming for? I came back with making sure that they knew how to spell, uh, laterality, making sure everything is left and right, because in my practice, all that stuff matters. And that separates out between the excellent clinicians and the acceptable clinicians. And in my heart and in my mind, I, that's my vision that I keep casting for my students. I want you to be excellent clinicians, people that other families can count on. It's worth the effort for me. It's worth the effort to keep hearing my students be like, oh, it's so hard. <laughs> and I'm like, I know, I know it is, but you know what? Somebody's gonna count on you one day and you're gonna be able to come through with them. Be prepared, be excellent. I, I went through it, I know what it's like. And so you can do it too. I will provide opportunities. How will you fill in the blank?